what I would like to do is to um, talk about um, our convictions and actions uh, in the matter of creating social value as an integral part of doing one's business. So I might spend a minute on talking about what we do in our company and uh, then draw on the conclusions that we have reached internally inside the company. So as a company, we are a, um, a technology company, uh, specifically information and communication technology company. Uh, we are engaged in delivering solutions uh, to automotive, manufacturing, and energy industries using technologies, largely, uh, you know, information technology. The work that we do uh, in the automotive industry uh, focuses on using technology uh, to reduce uh, the consumption of fuels, to reduce emissions. Uh, we have built technologies which reduce uh, fuel consumption by between 30 to 40 percent in a manner which is uh, very affordable in a market like India. And this is the first of the four or five technologies that we will be introducing uh, from very low cost, which would something cover maybe seven, eight percent of fuel consumption, to a fully electric covering, you know, taking care of 100 percent of the fuel consumption in an affordable manner. So uh, we work in that area. We work in other areas also, which makes um, uh, life beautiful. So part of the work that we do is in embedded technologies, technologies which get embedded into the products that we sell. The other part of the work that we do is in business IT, which helps, uh, makes, their, makes our clients run businesses in a more sustainable manner. So if you can come out with a good technology solution which can help the customer do his demand planning better, then hopefully he will manufacture only those parts or those products which can be sold to his customers, thereby reducing waste of all kinds of resources. So um, that, and we also work in the area of smart energy. So I believe that uh, there is um, value to be produced as an integral part of the business of a company. I believe that such a conviction should be a part of the entire ethos of the company. And that can be expressed not only in what you deliver to your clients, but also the way you do your own business. And uh, I believe that there is a tremendous value to something like this from multiple points of view. And I'm, I, I would like to share my own experiences in that. There is a value because it motivates staff. In the industry in which I am, which namely the IT industry, the age of the staff is quite young. You know, the average age is like 25, 26. And I keep on telling that if I retire, the age will drop below 21. So uh, people are charged up by doing something which is worthwhile doing. And which is, you know, making the automotive business cleaner, uh, which is um, uh, making the energy business smarter, and application of smart technologies in such a way that they are affordable to all. So I believe that there is an integral benefit in such a business because it can excite your people to do work that they are doing. I believe it is important that uh, the philosophy or the DNA should get reflected not only the business that in, in not only the business that you do, but in the way in which the company behaves itself. So, like for example, in our company, we have a design of our offices which brings in maximum sunlight throughout the day. When I sit in my office till about 6, 6, 30 in the evening, I don't need to switch on lights. We have a design where there is a lot of skylight coming into various parts of the company. We have uh, done our air conditioning in such, such a way that it has been extremely energy efficient. We have earned prizes for that. We, do, we manage the waste in our kitchen. We actually track it to ensure that it is leased. And then we work vermiculture on that to convert that into uh, you know, fertilizer. We recycle the water used in the, in the company to do our garden. Now, these are, not, you know, these, are, these are simple instances, but I think more than that, they express the philosophy of the company. And I believe, and I'm, as Martin rightly said, this has to be both top down and bottom up. And I believe that it's a tremendous energizing exercise inside a company. So that's as far as my experience in our company is concerned. I'm also deeply engaged with uh, two other initiatives. Um, 
you know, which are working in a similar area, creating social value. And because my company is engaged in that, I thought I would spend a few minutes talking about it. I was once the uh, president of our Chamber of Commerce in Pune, a very leading Chamber of Commerce. And we started at that time an initiative called Janavani for managing the affairs of the city. And that is out of a conviction that uh, the uh, face of any country changes because of what happens in the cities. Cities are the driver of change in any country. And we believe that you know, if we can change our city, uh, we can change you know, many other things. And we have been working on a lot of technologies and actions in order to ensure that the city manages its energy better. And one of the things that we have done is the management of solid waste in the city. Today, the work that we do covers about 10 lakhs people. And we believe that in uh, the next three years, we shall cover the city of roughly 50 lakhs people. And the idea there is how do you collect the waste at a ward level and convert that into energy and don't put it as a dump you know, when you're in the next village, uh, you know, uh, precincts. Now, uh, we, have work, we have been working at it for the last six years. We are seeing some good success in the last two years. And I believe that this experience has, um, of creating social value businesses coming together has taught me a lesson. And that lesson is that um, you can create sustainable change if you address four levers. I look at it almost like, a, you know, a quadrangle or a quadrilateral. One is social awareness. And uh, quite often, uh, we bring a government policy to the table or we bring a technology to the table. That by itself doesn't deliver results. So the work that we have done involves substantial work on social awareness as to why should an individual homeowner do segregation of garbage? As to why should an individual homeowner pay money for his garbage being collected. Now, you can't do such thing like, things like that in India unless you create substantial social awareness, and we have been involved in that. The second aspect is policy planning. How do you get your politicians and administrations to work with you to make an implementation of the policy that we would like them to implement? The third is an economic model. Because if you want to do anything which is sustainable in the long term, it has to very squarely rest on an economic model. And I believe in, an India, in a country like India, where people's income aspirations are quite modest, it is very possible to come out with an economic model for doing, you know, for creation social value. And the last, and equally important, is technology. Because I think an Indian innovative mind can come out with a technology which is cost effective, which can be scaled down and scaled up as required, but we have to just think differently. I believe the composition of these four items can make significant social changes. And I believe that the changes have to begin with us, with our own conviction, with our own passion, and our own action. And no other change can really stick. So this is my, you know, my personal experience. Thank you.